So we're going to find the derivative of t times cosine of square root of t times e to the t. So we have a product here, and we also have a product here, and we're also going to have a chain rule. So a lot going on in this one. So first thing we need to do is set up the outside, which is a product rule. So when I go to start my g prime of t, just to make this one obvious, I'll, I'll kind of break it into steps. I'm going to have t times the derivative with respect to t of cosine of square root of t e to the t plus, now this time I'm going to leave this part alone, cosine square root of t e to the t times the derivative with respect to t of t. This is a nice easy derivative, it's just one. This one, we got a little bit more going on and I'm missing a parenthesis because I'm taking cosine of more than just t. So here I have t. Now let's start this derivative times derivative of cosine is negative sine. Leave the inside alone. Square root of t e to the t times the derivative with respect to t of the inside because that's going to be from a chain rule. Square root of t e to the t plus, now remember this was already done, cosine of square root of t e to the t times the derivative of t which is just one. We won't write that in the next step. I'll put it there just so you can see that that became that. Alright, we have one more derivative to take. This is going to be a product rule. So I'm going to pull the negative out front so I don't need the parentheses that I forgot the other side of. Negative t times sine of square root of t e to the t times square root of t let's stick with the notation we've been using derivative with respect to t of e to the t you don't necessarily have to write all these steps I just want to make it really obvious where everything's coming from e to the t times the derivative with respect to t of square root of t now that needs to stay with that part plus cosine of square root of t e to the t equals t negative t sine of square root of t e to the t square root of t derivative of e to the t our favorite derivative it's just e to the t plus e to the t the derivative of square root of t. Remember this is the same thing as t to the one half. So its derivative is one half t to the negative one half. Or if we want we could write it as one over two square root of t. I'll let you double check that part. Um, close those parentheses plus cosine of square root of t e to the t. There's really not much simplifying we can do with this, so we're just going to leave that derivative as is. It's a little bit messy, but that's because we had a product rule, which required a chain rule, which required another product rule.